Hello everyone, welcome back to my little soapy channel. Um, if you're here because you saw the other video, my first video, where we made our root beer float soap, or if you just happened upon my channel and just wanted to check out this video, welcome! I welcome you all! Thank you so much for stopping by, it really means a lot to me. I had a lot of fun making the last video and I'm looking forward to making more of these videos and hopefully you all will join me on my little journey. So today we are making a raspberry lemonade soap. This one smells so delicious. Not much of a winter soap, more so a summer related soap, but when you live in a nice city like I do where it's just beach weather almost all year round, you just can't help but make these summer related soaps. In the beginning of this video, I included the part where I combined my lye water solution with my oil base because I find that part so satisfying. Before I started making soap myself, every time I watched other soap makers YouTube videos, I found that part so intriguing and so satisfying. I like it's just crazy, right? I don't know. In my opinion, it's just crazy. Maybe I'm just a little weirdo. I don't know. But maybe some of you guys agree with me. So in the bottom left, I have a lemon drop mica, a nice happy color. And the color at the top is called Summer Crush. It is one of my absolute favorites. So beautiful. It has kind of some gold specks in there. It's a really beautiful pink peachy color. And then on the right, I have just a plain red vibrance mica. All of these micas can be found in Nurture Soaps. I can put a link to their website down below just in case you all want to start making your own soaps. Maybe this will inspire you all to make your own soaps. And honestly, that would just be amazing because this making soap changed my life. It's, it gave me a different sort of creative output in a non-traditional sense, right? Because people are like, yeah, I can paint, I can sketch. Like, I thought, wow, I wish I could do that, but I can't, it doesn't look the same. So now I am making soap and I will never look back because look how fun this is. Isn't this fun? I think it's fun and that's all that matters. Back to the video, let me describe what I was doing. I had already mixed my micas into my soap base and then right now I'm actually stick blending my custom fragrance into each soap. Um, the fragrances I'm using is a combination of two different ones. They're both from Candle Science. It's a one-to-one -one ratio of citrus agave and raspberry. So it's this beautiful fresh scent of raspberries with a very sweet a little tangy scent of lemon. It's a, I actually worked out really well and I'm glad it did. It smells so yummy. Since everything looks nice and incorporated, it's time to bring out the mold. We're starting with the red color, and then we'll go in with the pink, and then ending off with the lightest color, the yellow color. And I'm just gonna take turns pouring each one so that I can get somewhat of an equal distribution. The technique I'm using right now is basically a drop swirl, but later on I'm going to go in with a hanger type tool to swirl it all together. The hanger swirl is definitely one of my most preferred ways to um, design my soaps. I just really like how it gives off a nice intricate swirl, blending the colors together without being muddled or anything. And as you can see here, I just went right in and just do a little few passes and I scrape off the excess so that we don't waste it, you know? Try to get every good little bit. And now cleaning up my mess because I need to have that good clean aesthetic for y'all. Don't want to look sloppy on camera now, don't we? 
And here I just take my thermometer because it has a nice pointy tip and it gives a really nice swirl as you can see what I'm doing. And it's not like I have a specific pattern in my head. I was just going as I please. And it looks pretty good. Sometimes the less you think, the better it looks, right? And then now I'm just putting these cute little melt and pour soaps. It's pretty easy. I found the mold on Amazon and then you can get any sort of melt and pour that you'd like. It's like a type of glycerin clear soap that you can buy at any store, even Michaels. I think the brand I was using is actually from Michaels. Then I just added the same mica, the lemon drop mica to bring it all together. And then just tilting them on their side so it looks like a little drink. <laughs> Gotta align that last one there. Woo, there we go. And here we are. Here's a nice soapy close up. Ooh. It's so shiny and cute. The lemons are all lined up and looking pretty. And ooh, look at the texture. the soap cutter I actually remembered to record it this time because in the last video the root beer soap video I couldn't get it and here I aligned it just trying to make sure I'm not cutting any lemons in half because that would be a bummer you all want your own lemons right and then just bringing it down and bloop. yay these soap ends I actually end up giving to my mom. If I cut it differently, I could give them as samples, but honestly, the ends of my soap loaves are kind of ugly because I get a little too excited and I can't wait to unmold them and I unmold them too early and look at that! Oh my gosh, it's so swirly and so pretty. See, this is why I like using a hanger. It gives little wispy details to the soap but maybe you prefer a different swirl or even the drop swirl that I used in the last soap. Let me know down in the comments. I'm kind of curious what you all think. Anyway, this is the end of my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to seeing you all again. The next soap will be our fun apple pie soap. Ooh, so stay tuned for next time. Thanks guys, see you later.